Welcome to our experiment on density. Today we're going to test the density of various types of fruit by placing them in water and seeing whether they float or whether they sink. So here are some of the, the fruits that I've picked today. We have a mandarin, we have a lemon, we have a strawberry, some grapes and some blueberries. Okay. Now, before we start, how have we kept our variables controlled in this experiment? Pause the video if you need to. Okay, have you had a good brainstorm? I hope so. Have a look at all of our cups. Are they the same size? Yes, they are. What about the water level? It's approximately the same height. And the method we're going to use to test density is going to be the same method. That is by putting some fruit into the water and seeing what happens whether it floats or whether it sinks. So for example, our first hypothesis for the grapes might be, remember with the hypothesis, it's an educated guess about what's going to happen. So I'm going to say the grapes will sink in water. Alternatively, you might like to say the grapes will float in water. That's okay too. It doesn't matter whether our results are proven to be the same as the hypothesis or different from the hypothesis. As long as we record our results, that's fine. You may also wish to say grapes float in water or you may wish to say grapes sink in water. Now the difference between the first two hypotheses and the second two hypotheses is the tenses I've used. I can use future with will or I could just use the present tense. Both are correct. Okay, pause the tape again if you need to, to write your hypothesis for the grapes. Okay, here we go. We're going to have a look and see what happens. Here go the grapes. Oh, okay, they've sunk. Okay, I'd like you to write another hypothesis with the strawberry. Pause this video if you need to. Okay, welcome back. Let's put the strawberry in and see what happens. Oh, okay, it's floating. Fantastic. Okay. The third fruit, we have a mandarin. I'd like you to write another hypothesis for your mandarin. So pause again if you need to. Welcome back. Let's have a look. I'm going to put this mandarin in. It's just a bit smaller than the, the cup. So, oh, okay, it's floating. It's definitely floating. All right, what about this lemon? It's a pretty large lemon, so we'll see how we go. Carefully place it in. Okay, and I can tell you now that it hasn't caught at the sides, so it's definitely floating. It's just a bit smaller than the cup. Now I'm going to do something a little bit unorthodox now. I have one more collection of fruit. Ooh. Okay, I have some blueberries, and I'm going to see what happens, but I'm going to use this same cup. Okay, the second one that I've put in, you can see that it's sunk all the way to the bottom. Now that's not the correct scientific methodology, so you may wish to talk about that if you decide to write this experiment up. In a proper experiment I would have a fifth cup, but I didn't have the same cup, but I still wanted to test the blueberries, so that's something that could have been improved in this experiment. I hope you've enjoyed this experiment on density and feel free to do lots of testing at home with all different objects, different fruit, perhaps even vegetables and see how much fun you can have deciding which fruits are denser than others. Thank you.